alarming rise in forest fires this year, while it's too hot to handle. Parliamentary Standing Committee recommends a national policy on managing blazes. What are the key recommendations of the committee in preventing devastating forest fire? In case of forest fires, how is India's disaster preparedness, risk management and resilience operation? Rather than a choice, why disaster management is crucial for India? What are forest fires? Explain the different types of forest fires. GS Paper 3, Disaster and Disaster Management What is the context about? With fires raging across central Indian forests and the Himalayan pine forests, the frequency of such blazes has risen by a drastic 55% in the past year. The number has touched 24,817 in 2016, a really alarming rise, from around 15,937 fires in 2015, says the report by Parliamentary Standing Committee. The three central states of Odisha, Chhattisgarh, and Madhya Pradesh contribute a third of the forest fires. Madhya Pradesh has seen a nearly tenfold increase from just 294 in 2015 to more than 2,600 in 2016. What are the key recommendations of the committee in preventing devastating forest fire? The committee has suggested a national policy on managing forest fires. The report primarily focuses on the prevention and containing of fires in the Himalayan forests spread across Uttarakhand, Himachal Pradesh, and Jammu and Kashmir. Here, accumulated chill pine needles, which are inflammable due to their high resin content, are believed to be a prominent factor in occurring and spreading of forest fires. The committee has recommended the procurement of sweeping machines to clear roadsides of chirpine needles. It recommended large-scale incentives and programs to collect pines for use as fuel and other incineration. The report suggests replacing pine forests with broadleaf plants. In case of forest fires, how is India's disaster preparedness? risk management and resilience operation. India's disaster preparedness, risk management and resilience operation is still in infancy. India is prone to forest fires, yet the NDMA website doesn't list it as a major threat. Lack of foresight at the policy level automatically translates into poor implementation of basic preventive measures on the ground such as making fire lines, creating gaps in the vegetation, that act as barriers. Some of the systems are actually in place, like the ISRO satellite system issuing warnings on forest fires and impending natural disasters, but that's just a tiny shining bit of rusted machinery. Rather than a choice, why disaster management is crucial for India. Disaster management is not a choice but a socio-economic and political imperative for India, which is prone to earthquakes, floods, cyclones, tsunamis, droughts, landslides and avalanches, to name a few. Most of these are the consequences of global warming. The adverse effects of climate change have impacted lives and livelihoods around the globe. What is wildfire? A wildfire is simply an uncontrolled fire that is wiping out large fields and areas of land. These fires sometimes burn for days and weeks. They can wipe out an entire forest and destroy almost every organic matter in it. These fires tend to thrive in very warm and dry climates, rather than the thick, moist rainforest types. Explain different types of forest fires. Ground fires, fires that burn organic material in the soil are called ground fires. This is a slower burning fire, usually under litter or under vegetation. They burn by glowing combustion. Surface fires, some fires burn on the surface of the ground. 
they burn dry leaves, broken twigs and branches and other materials on the ground. These fires spread quickly and are known as surface fires. Crown fires Crown fires burn with huge flames and has intense heat and power. They burn from treetop to treetop and spread very quickly with the wind and heat. It is even worse if they are exposed to steep slopes.